Morning, Roxy Tony. We actually got to move closer to these homes that are uh, in a direct threat of the storm after the after damage of the storm. Just take a look at where I'm standing. I'm standing on what was the wall amongst uh, these homes here. It came crashing down overnight. Uh, this is brick wall we're standing on. Even down there, uh, Tony, if we could go over there, show people these brick. This brick wall came. It detached from the wall, came down with the mud near this creek overnight. This is a huge problem. It's exactly why these homes are red tagged. Let's go to the video of what this looked like overnight. Ah. More than eight inches of rain fell in the area. The mud and the debris proving to be too much for at least one home and several foundations here in Lake Elsinore. A brick wall, this wall you just saw, crumbled from the pressure of the water flow. It snapped a natural gas line. That home is now red tagged, considered unhabitable. The people living here, they took what they could and they got out, which was extremely wise. At one point, the creek was up to 10 feet deep and 100 feet wide. It was double trouble yesterday. Officials said from the, the water from the higher elevations came rushing down into this neighborhood at the same time as the storm hit. All the debris from the fire, mm -hmm. there's nothing holding in those, all that whole mountain range comes right down here. So on top of the water from the, the upper elevations, now we had rain over the top of us, which just intensified the problem. Last night, Riverside County officials downgraded all evacuation orders in the Holy Flood area to voluntary evacuation warnings. That's probably good news for these people who live here because uh, back out here live, you can see uh, while this is an ugly mess to wake up to, they probably want to get started on figuring out how they're going to address this situation. This home to our left, uh, this wood fence fell and a piece of it is literally hanging off. It could fall any second. So we probably are going to get out of here actually after seeing that but you can see uh, right behind me this is the roof that came crashing down this is the after effect again not a pretty sight to see at six o'clock or seven o'clock in the morning but nevertheless evacuation orders have been downgraded to voluntarily so maybe some people will come by and see what their homes look like send it back to you in the studio we're reporting live from lake elsinore leah uko yeah